Maybe I don't know. He's got it. Oh, oh not today. No, up today. No, go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, what the fuck? You bastards! Oh, I got his at the end though. And become the Elden Lord. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Noisy boy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Outer Ring video, we're going to be continuing on, but before we get started, guys, remember if you have been enjoying the series so far, remember to smash the like button, support my channel if you're new, feel free to subscribe, because I love to hear your feedback and your comments in the comment section below. In the last episode, well, I have to apologise for the audio, my yeah, my earphones are screwing up, there's like a big crack at the side of the, the mouthpiece, so, damn kids. So I found where that strength knot was, I was supposed to go up here. But, um, as you guys already know, what I did was I went the other way, so, just to show you, my notes were telling me to go from there to the other side, but I ended up going to the right place that I found it off camera, so where is it? All it does is strengths your boost, so, oh, boost your strength, I should say. So that one there, strength not crystal tear. Yeah, that's just a bit of a nut muck up of my notes because my notes were telling me to go east from that shack. And I thought I meant that. But what I actually meant it should have been north east. I'm supposed to go there, and I think the strength knot was about here. And then I was supposed to come down and around, pick that up and go up to the PvP side, so that's what I was supposed to do. So it's around there if you want to get it. Anyway, with that all cleared up, let's uh, have a chat to him. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but when we were at Mistwood, there was like a howling of a wolf. Anyway, we're going to go see what that howling was, and apparently there's a guy called Blade there, so if you snap your fingers, apparently he'll make his way down, so, and it's a gesture too, so, what you want to do is just, obviously, put it on and then find a nice spot and then just flick your fingers and he'll actually jump down. Now this is to like the second part of his quest if you want to try to get his um, his uh, armor and his headpiece so and his, and his uh, sword too so if you want to do that follow this and uh, we'll get right over there right now. Alright guys let's uh, head on over there so from that grace we're gonna go up there and following the road is probably the best part, just watch out for those um, bears from the last time. And there's that one bear that's sleeping, I don't know if you guys remember from the last episode or if you bloody hear it. Hopefully this audio is a lot better, let me know in the comments. Pretty sure. Now I haven't actually completed this quest line in my first playthrough, but from Reddit and all that. Actually got oh shit, I must jump right into him. You can hear that howling. Oh I missed something. It's all about here. Should be able to see him. And there he is. Half man, half wolf. Again, gotta be sneaky. Don't wanna be too noisy. Hehe. <laughs> okay, so head your way over to here. He's a big boy. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Daryl. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. So anyway, he's searching for, obviously, as you dog will. I know where to find him, so we'll head on there after this. Just gonna exhaust his dialogue. So this is like the first part of his quest, and if you complete it properly and do what he wants, 
you know, you can get his entire armor set and his sword, but I don't think you get his headpiece. I think it's something separate, I think, but... So the ever jail's just up there, so we'll head up to that grace and then head to the jail. Uh, this will pretty much be our first, um... Our first experiences, and for some of you who are using um, Elders, Elden Ring as your like first Souls game, this quite possibly will be your first uh, PVE summon. So uh, the weapon that this guy drops is a pretty good quality weapon, and you probably see a lot of people running around with it online. So let's try to just. I think I'm way too under leveled for this. I think I'm only level eight or some shit, but at least we'll just let Blaze just murder him and just try to get some hits in while we're from a distance. So when you see the summon sign on the ground, it'll pop out like this and you just summon them and they should come up. That's pretty much the basics of summoning and you just have to um, use one of the fingers that you've got. I think it's the forlorn can't remember. It's a big boy. This is where it ends for you. Alright, I'll just let these two fight. Fuck me, you idiot. Oh, we're doing nice damage. Didn't realize. Should be a cake wolf for him. Oh, missed. Missed again. Oh, missed. Missed again. Oh, missed again. Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, finish him! Oh, nice. And that's pretty much the basics of PV summoning. Summoning. Easy work. Let's go and have a chat to him. Ah, right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Got it, some brainstone. Oh yes. If you venture north to Rey Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. Nice. I reckon. So when you go to As this time we parted So when you go to Santa Claus, you talk to him about him and then yeah, it's pretty much a... Uh, this part of that quest done anyway, so there are some more to come. So what we'll do, uh, we'll head uh, down south. Yeah. I think what we might do is might just. Well, no, I guess we could. Yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go into the middle, hit up that village because I think they are holding a. I think they're holding a tier, and I think there's a shield up there too, a pretty useless shield that I'll just pick up anyway. Don't deal with rats. Uh, no, I think I've gone too far here. Oh, jeez. Do enough damage off. That will do. I meant to go that one, actually.
Easy. Now with that big bobber, I should be able to put him down. With throwing some rocks on his ass. Damn. Bashed him in the face. the flame of frenzy that's for my faith boys out there so that stuff will they'll take you through this entire place that flame of frenzy it's one of the most powerful moves in this game for a faith building like I said you don't even need weapons if you just use that gun in it like if you've got like the mace or maybe even like the uh, heavy swords or something like that you know with the flame of frenzy man you'll be set for like a large part of the um, opening uh, stuff of the game like uh, Limgrave and you know, Lunaria and all that kind of stuff even Caleb you know you could put a bit of a put up a bit of a fight out there go let's grab that for now now, what's next? Uh, we'll go this way. Might as well pick up the shield while we're here. Not the best by far, but why not? Mm. Gee, I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. But we shall do this. Thought it was. I must have run straight past it, unless it's down there. I think it might be down there. And up this way, I think. It's the birds that gave it away for me. Can't remember now. Oh, those are not birds. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Come this way. Now, if we can just. I'm pretty sure this is the... Uh... Wait, what am I doing? Did I go too far? I think I did. Oh yeah, I'm way too far. Where the hell is this grace? I thought it was like... Before the bridge, like before the bridge parted. Just ended up going back to the grace, you know, just trying to find this fucking grace. Put it during the day so we can see a little bit better. Actually. Maybe if I just... I want to see if I can get it from this side. Like, I think it might be the lower path. Mm. I think it's just up the top of that ledge up there. Pretty sure that's where it was. I think that's where I remember it was. Yep, there it is. This is funny. Some of the later game stuff is just... I can remember, but the early game shit, I'm like, fuck, that was ages ago, I can't remember it. So that's the one I wanted, now we can continue on. Well, for a second there, I thought I was getting, um, invaded, because usually when you get invaded, you jump 
off your horse and you can't get back on. this place again was this the yeah this was that big demi human dude him and his gang maybe I'll just leave it you get a star from her but I wasn't sure if that was worth it because we have the meteorite You know what? Fuck it. Not doing hard out collecting, but we'll try and get this guy. Uh, let's get my boys in here. Jellyfish guy just to distract. Kill your own men, that's fine with me. Oh shit, just missed. So we'll just lure you out to the open. We can just bust this shit down. That's cool. Gotcha. Now according to the notes, the rest of them should just cower. Let's just go. What was that? Sandals. Yeah, those plants are getting a bit iffy. towards this thing to the church church of pilgrim pilgrims pilgrimage pick that up this is another tier isn't it Now that we've gone across that pathway, picked up that staff for our caster boys. Picked up um, a flag of frenzy for our incantation boys. So we're looking in good shape. And like seriously, that flame of frenzy will carry you through if you just keep leveling it. Um, faith flower out. It's so powerful. We're heading on down to the um, that shack down the bottom there. I'm trying to think if I missed the. Uh, because I know there's Loodle down here, um, a fake Salon, there's a shit ton of ashes down here too. Um, so yeah, like honestly, like even some end game builds have got this, it's that damn powerful. And such low requirements too. Dunno. Oof. 
don't think I checked there last time I was here. Now we're going to head towards that shack. It should be a pretty straight run with the uh, mausoleum walking around as well. Pretty sweet idea, like, to come up with something like that. A walking mausoleum. It's pretty badass. And that's what did get me about, um... Oh, look at that thing, man. It's so cool. Such a good idea. Picking stuff up as we go. There it is. Dude, you can tell they just did such a good job with all this, eh? Now, I do know what you have to do. Those things, there's, um... I don't know, maybe a bit loud, but... They exchange, like, boss souls for weapons and all that kind of stuff, so... Um, well, that does in itself, but if you use up a boss soul, or a... I think they're called, I can't remember what they're called, but once you use them up to gain their weapon or their ability or something like that, you can actually go back to those mausoleums and duplicate another boss soul, so you might want both of them, you might want none of them, but it just gives you that option, so really, really good, because if you want two boss weapons from the same boss, it can be done. Well, no one works here, so of course it's going to be quiet. Uh, probably, well, I'm going to pick up the lantern, but, you know, if you want the Zweihander fan favorite there. Obviously, if we've got the runes, buy that book. And the, uh, you know, or if you've got a bit more, if you want to farm up some, uh, some more to buy those. So it's totally up to you what you want to do. Um, you don't have to buy what I'm saying, but that lantern is just like a, a godsend because now you don't have to carry the uh, torch. Uh, which is... That's the lantern, so now we can just automatically turn it on and it doesn't take up any weight so I can drop the, fa uh, the torch. I see drop the torch. Now we get that. So we're looking in pretty good shape. I think we're still only like level 8 or some crap, so... Don't need to rest there. Let me just have a look at my notes. I think we want to go... Oh, we went down that. My notes are telling me to go... Pilgrimage... Shack... And... I can't even read my own damn writing. Get demi human staff optional. Make your way to church and make your way. I'm gonna go up there, I think we will. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so my notes are telling me to unlock some of the northern parts because that shack there, let's see if she's left, oh, she hasn't left just yet, I'm not quite sure when she leaves, like, I originally went to Storm, Storm Hill and, um, you know, cleared the place, yeah, so I originally cleared the place and then came back, and you have to give her a memento, but she had already disappeared, so, she pretty much wanted a memento from her group, but, Actually, you know, while we're here, I think what I might do is just quickly get the uh, Grace outside of the castle, or at least then when it comes time to go there, I can just zip straight there. Uh, is there a f f wooden tunnel? No, not there. Yeah, so we're going to go into another place, uh, the Lunaria place. It's like a really magical, orientated nation, I guess you could say, a lot of mages and all that kind of stuff there, and... Um, sorry, I think it's called Lucaria or some shit like that, but anyway, man, my mind is just going blank, I think it's because I'm so tired playing this so much, so... 
we'll just get in here. We'll just haul ass to the grace so we can de-aggro. But no, yeah, it's just one of those ones where it's like I'm playing so much of this. I'm just tired, you know. Um, so I've got my second playthrough. Well, this is my second playthrough going through now. I have got a third casual one going, which is just like a blade. Uh, oh, sorry, a faith guy. Uh, we'll just stick with that for now, I guess, and we'll make our way. Might as well walk back to the shack and go from there. There's actually a dirt path. You can actually go on to actually, because I thought you had to go through here to get to the other side, but there's actually a side path you can go to, which goes around the castle itself. So, make our way to the shack and go there now. So, one of the things I was talking about before was. Um, especially in episode 1, which is about grabbing stuff for everyone and all that kind of shit, um, for all different classes. So they can make their own decision on what they want to do, what weapon they want to do, if you're a sorcerer or, or a, you know, a faith guy, like inc incantations and all that kind of stuff, you actually have options and weapons to use. Armors I don't really have because, you know, armors are pretty scarce at this time, but... Yeah, you'll eventually get it in the end, but this just gives you heaps of options with extra talismans and all that kind of shit, so that lady just reads your palms, a waste of time. So then at least then when you stop and go, okay, I'm gonna level up, I'm going to upgrade my weapons, you you've got weapons and all that kind of shit and you know, hopefully we can try and find as many uh, materials to upgrade your weapons as we can too, so we'll get to a certain point where we can just because I give you that quick farming spot Actually, isn't there a... My notes are telling me there's an ability thing down here, all those dung beetle things. Where do you think you're going? Get back here. Oh, Stormwall, nice. Um, so yeah, hopefully... Hopefully by the end of probably... Jeez, I don't know, maybe episode... 4 or 5, maybe this episode, maybe the next episode, I'm not sure, but... You know, we'll get you some some really good ashes, we'll get you some good weapons, some good starter weapons and some other options to go towards if you want. Um, but what we'll do here is just we'll unlock a couple of merchants here too and a smith. Oh actually it's just a smith and a merchant. Uh, so yeah you can, we can do that. But, uh, just travel through here, don't even worry about picking anything up for now, we'll just keep going, like, the enemies here will be slightly stronger than in Limgrave, but, like, if you want to spend time taking them out, you can, but, see Lunaria. So what we shall do first, there, there should be a grace, just, right there. So pick this one up first, don't rest at it just yet, we'll go to the Church of the Earth up the, the tear from there as well and have a chat to another mage who sits in there. Actually while we're here might grab a scroll. Let's see how we go. Come through here, another church, pick it up. Sacred tear, talk to old mate. Y'all. Apologies, I'm afraid. All oh, right, I can tell you what I you've seen. That's that. The only its doors have been after they did the academy, as you might have been making entry and so on. When anyway, we're just gonna uh, keep going with that. So, again, just exhaust everyone's dialogue. You know, you guys know the drill. So, our master is quite well known, whether it's good or bad. She's obviously a talented uh, sorceress, but. So we've got those two spells, we don't have this spell, it's a pretty handy spell, I'm not going to buy it now, but I probably will eventually, just to go through and buy all the spells, so I've got them all, but don't have to worry about that right now. And I think... Okay, let's go and rest. Oh, where the fuck? Oh, did I go past it? Must have. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Oh, there. 
so yeah, there's another part that we have to go through. Like, this place is so huge. I haven't even done all of Khaled yet. And there's underground stuff, and oh my god, so big. Go that one. So oh, we're looking at three and three, are we? Jeez. And a plus four. Damn. Like, that's pretty good for the start of the game. Like, we haven't even killed many stuff, and... You know, look how good we're doing so far. Oh, should I? Let's check my notes. Uh, hidden path. Around Storm Vale. Go down. Turn right between crevices. Yeah, I'll just pick up the scroll while we're here. It's just down the end there. So head up here. Go this way. And we'll just rest at this way just in case we do die. Now we're gonna try actually I think we might just leave it like that. At least we've got our starting point because we know where to go now. If we wanted to just skip storm storm valve for now and just go out more. Actually, let's head on back through the Kaelin and grab the Great Sword. That'd be good for you beefy boys out there. So, what we're looking for... Um, So what we're going to do is go to that spot there, and then go to a spot up here. Now that first spot we're going to, it's uh... Shit, what was it called? The Church of... Uh, shit, I don't even remember what it was called. Uh... Shit. I think it's the Church of the Brotherhood or some shit like that, I can't remember. Anyway, whatever you do, don't go through the front door, because it's an invasion... Uh, invasion trigger, so I just suggest coming around the back of it. Summon Water Village, that's not it. It's a long ride. So when we go to Kaelin, things start to go a bit darker and a bit reddish because of the rot that's around, so you can see that the church is there up on the left. See the old guts reference right here. All right. Now, like I was saying before, don't go through the front door because you trigger a uh, invasion. Best bet is to go around unless you want to fight the invader, which we can later on, but just not right now. So drop that. Pick up these, uh, the grace, and then pick up those two books. Uh, then we'll head north to another lookout. Uh, hopefully we don't get triggered. You know, so we'll head on up. I think it's called Rotview, I think that's what it's called. Um, good starting point anyway, so... And we'll go and find that greatsword. Now this might be a bit of a pain in the ass, because everything here will flay you alive with one hit, so we have to be very careful, but it can be done. Hopefully this won't take too long, so you can actually take a little bit of a shortcut. And then we're going to try and crouch, because you can see that thing on the right there. One hit from those and you're dead. Uh, let's go... Oh, I'm saying there's an item somewhere. Must be the other way. Anyway, we'll just... Oh, that could have been it. Oh, no, no, that was a... Anyway, there's the army of the dead. So again, that's why I said stay off to the side. You can avoid them. They're not too hard, but... They're strength in numbers, right? Right. 
As you can see on that right, I think. Where the hell is that? I thought it would have been here. Oh, it's further down, that's why there it is. That's the back of the carriage right there. So what I'm gonna try and do is jump down and sneak. Hopefully we can just sneak in, grab the sword and then get out. Should be able to do this relatively easy. Yep. Oh no, oh no, 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 go, go, go. Oh, oh. Jump, 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 get up there, get up there, go, go, go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, he got his in the end anyway. Oh no. Oh shit, poor bugger. Now, let's try that again. I'll take a wider arc. Get my runes back. Oh. Oh. Ah, nice. And that is the great sword. Literally the great sword. The old gut sword. Literally. So. So badass. Alright, let's head on back. Um. Actually covered a lot today in this episode, so what the fuck is chasing me? Oh, oh shit! Uh, run! How we too easy, we too easy. I should try to find like the. Oh, it's gone. Kind of saying that it's still like, like with the music going out, it is. Oh no, there we go. All right, uh, take that off. There's still other places to go to get. So, uh, yeah, let's just head back. Well, oh, anyway, guys, look at the time. It's like 37 minutes just to do all that. We covered so many things in this episode, so... And that's probably how it's going to be for another two or three more episodes, just covering shit, you know? Because this is an open-world game that is just really, really easy to actually explore. So, you know, walkthroughs are probably impossible of this, even though it's labeled a walkthrough, but, you know, you do your best to try to guide people in the right way and where they, want, where they should be going, just to make it as easy as start as... It's possible because we've been hearing all the crap about this being too hard or too easy or whatever. But you know, fuck, I better just, yeah, let's just wrap this one up. So anyway guys, if you did enjoy this one, remember to smash the like button and support my channel if you're new. Feel free to subscribe because I love to hear feedback and your comments in the comment section below. I am your esteemed host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by. And as always guys, stay noisy.